This is one of multiple videos showing you how to use NetMiko to configure a GNS3 topology. We are applying the same configuration on all the switches and you might not want to do that. You might want to apply some code on some switches and different code on other switches. So as an example, your access switches may require different configuration to your core switches. So what we could do is create a file for access switches and then create a file for core switches. And what we could do is configure our access switches per the configuration in the access file, and then configure the core switches with the configuration in the core file. So let's copy that. I'll go back to GNS3. Let's create a new file called netmiko4 and paste the script in. Again, it's not optimized fully, but we'll get the job done. Now we're gonna copy iOS v config to iOS v access and core, and then we'll edit iOS v layer two access. And what we could do as an example is say only these ports will be configured on the access switches. So gigabit zero zero to one will be configured as trunks. Other ports will be configured as access ports. And then on the core switches, we could remove the access port configuration and only configure the relevant ports with the right configuration. So now we can use the command python netmiko4 to configure firstly the access switches and secondly the core switches. So as you can see, switch five is only configured on the relevant ports. So is switch four, so is switch three. And now we have a different set of configuration for the core switches. Switch two is configured only with trunk ports. And switch one is only configured with trunk ports. Now I must warn you, using an in-band management network can cause problems. When you're making configuration changes like the configuration changes in our script, you may have issues with spanning tree, recomputing. You may have issues where changes that you make through the script can block IP connectivity to your devices. And thus it makes more sense to have an out of band management network wherever possible. Or if you only have an in band management network, be careful with spanning tree, be careful with the changes that you're making because it could affect the script having SSH or Telnet access to your switches. If the Ubuntu device can't SSH to the devices for whatever reason, you could end up with a half configured network. Be careful with in-band management. Now you may wanna optimize spanning tree and other options in this network. Show spanning tree shows us that we have shared links between the switches. So as an example on gigabit zero one, we might wanna use the command spanning tree link type point to point to improve the way that spanning tree works. That however should be configured on all devices in the network to improve spanning tree convergence. Again, be careful with in-band management. So what I could do is say nano iOS v layer two access. And what I'll do is paste that command under the trunk ports so that the trunk ports get configured as point to point spanning tree links, which will improve convergence. On switch five, as an example, 
show spanning tree. Notice all ports are shared ports. We can see the root and alternate port, but the ports are shared ports. So let's run Python net Miko 4. They're the commands that are going to be applied. You can see as an example that spanning tree link type point to point will be used. At the moment, we're still seeing the ports as shared ports. Configuration has been done. Notice the change point to point. So show run interface gigabit 00. Notice spanning tree point to point has been added to both the uplinks on the switch. But as an example, if we look at port 2 slash 0, that is still configured as an access port. The script is now configuring the core switches. So previously, we only had one point-to-point -point port on switch 1. That's what we're still seeing because the script has to still configure switch 1, which it's now done. So notice now we have multiple point-to-point -point ports. So show run interface gigabit 0 slash 1. That port is configured as a spanning tree point-to-point -point port. So is gigabit 0 2, gigabit 0 3, gigabit 1 0, gigabit 1 1. So that was an example of how to use Python and NetMiko to configure an entire campus network. Be careful with in-band management, however. You may run into issues where your script is locked out of your switches when you make configuration changes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.